and Jimmy Manoa. He will be in there with an opponent who boasts an 88% knockout rate and the ability to end a fight with one swing of his fist. His hands are nothing like mine. mine mine's a one-shot, one-kill thing. So, um, you know, he's going he's gonna to feel that. Uh, Thiago Santos is going to feel that on the, on the night. Não estou preocupado com o poder de nocaute do Jimmy. Ele que tem que estar preocupado com o meu poder de nocaute. After a ferocious tear through the middleweight division, Brazil's Thiago Santos decided the time was right to take on the best 205-pound fighters in the world. And with a fight of the night finish of Eric Anders in September, it was clear the power game of Maheta is as potent as ever. Quero passar por cima do Manu, nocautear ele e mostrar para o UFC que eu posso chegar a disputar o cinturão do, dos meio pesados. Looking to end an injury riddle 2018 campaign on a high note, Jimmy Manoa's fan base has been in his corner throughout, and the Londoner expects to pay them back for their support tonight with an effort that will remind them of his highlight reel knockouts of Ovin St. Preux and Corey Anderson. I want this to be the performance of my career, and um, you know, I've made a lot of sacrifices for these two camps that I've done, and um, you know, it's going to end with a bang. Workhorse for the UFC. I think most saliently, a knockout in nine of his 11 UFC wins. Listen, I've called a few of Santos's fights, and every time this guy brings the heat, whether it's with his hands, his head kicks, his leg kicks, he's a savage. And at 205, he's a healthy savage, and he's not cutting all that weight down to 185. Absolutely thunderous knockout power, and we saw that in his last fight against the very dangerous Eric Anders. I mean, he's just a beast, and so is Jimmy Matawa. This is really one of those do-or-die fights for both guys. Either one of them could get knocked out with any punch or kick they throw. Absolutely. And this fight was to happen in September. Jimmy Matawa pulled out with an injury, so in stepped Eric Anders. You see back-to-back -back wins for Santos. 100 significant strikes landed against Anders in that UFC light heavyweight debut. And not only tonight does he become the first fighter on this roster to make five UFC appearances in 2018, but he also made weight as a backup fighter for that Adesanya Tavares main event this summer. So he's just a guy who, when the UFC calls his number, he is ready. And I think a pretty good opportunity for him, given the landscape at 205, to make a major statement tonight. I just think for health reasons, it's the way to go, because I can't imagine he wasn't cutting 20 or 30 pounds to make oh, that 185-pound no, no limit. Because no as we see him step in the octagon 20 pounds above at 205, he's cutting weight to make this. All right, Tiago Santos, about a two-to-one favorite tonight against the division staple, Jimmy Manuel. Well, with no shortage of pressure on his shoulders here tonight, Joe, seventh in the world, Jimmy Manuel making his 11th UFC appearance. And he's just, he's one of those guys that when he came in, he had all this hype, he's got such good knockout power, but he's had some setbacks. He gets caught himself, and he's faced some of the best guys in the division. But tonight, the hype that Santos has behind him, that Manawa can come in here tonight and get a big win, that's huge. Throws him right back in the mix, in my opinion. This fighter description is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. This is a knockout artist of the highest order. And you mentioned, Joe, not much of a martial arts background. Joe Silva wanted to sign him a long time ago. He was the best 205 in the UK for a while. Finally, at 32 years old, he felt he was ready for the big show. And at times, has sort of been making up for lost time. Yeah, I mean, it really is unheard of to think about someone starting martial arts at 28 and then at 38 being a UFC veteran with a 17 and 4 record. Yeah, it's really kind of crazy. But Jimmy Manley is that talented, and who knows how good he would have been if he started at 18. And he's such, he's got such an arrogance in a good way about him, you know, and he's got that British accent, just gives him that that edge. I, it's something about Manley. I saw him at the, uh, the hotel the other day. We were down at the Underground Mall, and I just here, elbows, elbows. And he's looking at me and he's like, I like your elbows, man. <laughs> he's a fun dude. Don't come near me, Jimmy. Oh, at 205 pounds in the UFC, taking on Jimmy Manoa. Here's your tail of the tape. Manoa, 38 years old. Maheta Santos will be 35 next month. He is the taller man by one inch, but Manoa will have a three and a half inch reach advantage.
All right, with that, to get us the official introductions, he is the veteran voice of the Octagon. The Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker holding a professional record, 19 wins, six losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, T. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a striker holding a professional record, 17 wins, four losses. He stands, six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the number seven ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, Jimmy Poster Boy the action begins, our referee in charge, Todd Anderson. Bombs away, ladies uh -huh. and gentlemen. Don't go for hey, popcorn. Hey, hey. Stay put. Jimmy Manuel in the red trunks. Tiago Santos is going the distance for the first time in 2015. Ooh, hard kick. Oh. Oh. He clipped him. Quick. Oh. Oh. Two knockdowns early for Santos. And a takedown. He's got to watch his neck here, oh. Joe. Knee to the body. Manuel trying to recover here. He got hit with some big shots in the night. Santos with some heavy left hands. Santos wastes no time. God. Touch the ear. Devastated. I mean, you don't tattoo a hammer on your chest unless you're serious. <laughs> I think the shield on his left arm thing is, is fresh as well. It limits your career options. <laughs> Nice knee to the body, my man, as well. Good elbow on the break. Oh, Santos might be in trouble. Yeah. And then just over the top. Oh. oh. Jeez, man, these guys are... Nice takedown there from Santos. It didn't really affect him. Didn't land cleanly, but a beautiful technique. Nice uppercut. lands to the body back to the clinch we go it's like they agree okay hold on let's let's take a break for a second here. change like that you're getting hit and you're thrown with all that power nice elbow oh, oh the left hand oh my goodness oh it's madness in there right now man. nice knee to the body by manawa good defense there stop that to all oh. i think manawa's just gonna ride this out Big shots. Wow. 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 My goodness. Woo. Take your headphones off and listen to this place. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow, this crowd is crazy. <laughs> Down to face the new king of the flies, Henry Cejudo. Tickets on sale this Friday at Ticketmaster.com. All right, round two here. Jimmy Manuel, Tiago Santos. Santos sticks that lead hand early. This is just all power, folks. Oh, nice kick up top. And that started with Manawa. Read that switch kick coming, just stepped off. Nice trip. Could you imagine? Just nods as if to say, I knew it all along. Absolutely incredible fight as long as it lasted. What a fight. What? Look at his handiwork. This fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Oh, well, here we go. You see both guys just absolutely swinging, but as he missed the right hand, Santos comes back with a beautiful uppercut and then a big left hook puts Manawa down face first. Look at this hook square right on the temple right up next to the eyebrow on Manawa. All right, we now send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Todd Anderson has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tiago Mahetka Santo. I'm here with the winner, Tiago Santos. What a fight! Uh, my, my, my. Jimmy Manoa. Respect to both of you. What a fight, gentlemen. What a fight. You came out bombs away from the first second of the fight. Was that the plan from the get-go? Você chegou aqui soltando bomba. Esse era essa a estratégia. É, a estratégia é essa, cara. Eu, eu cheguei agora. Agora eu pude mostrar que eu cheguei nos meus pesados e cheguei para ficar. Eu vou ser campeão do UFC. Yeah, that was a strategy. I came out to show that I can hit hard and I came to stay. What, what a sensational knockout. And Thiago, take a look at the big screen and some of the action. I mean, this was a chaotic, crazy fight, and I loved every second of it. Tell us what you were thinking here in the heat of these exchanges. O que você estava pensando no calor dessa, dessa trocação? Ah, estava maravilhoso, estava gostoso. Eu já falei que eu gosto de fazer isso aqui em cima, é trocar porrada, é trocar soco, é fazer meus adversários sentir dor até eles não aguentarem mais. It was fun, it was marvelous. I want to make my opponents feel pain until they can't bear it anymore. Well, it was a fantastic performance and such a good move for you to move up to 205 pounds. It's so obvious you are healthy here and you maintain your knockout power. Foi uma excelente movida lá para 205. Mostrou que você tem poder de nocaute nesse peso, irmão. Você está muito mais saudável. É isso aí. Foi bom demais. Eu queria mandar um abraço aqui para o Brasil, Rio de Janeiro, para a Cidade de Deus, para as crianças do meu projeto social, do Centro de Tiago Marreta. Um abraço para o meu filho, que foi campeão do futebol hoje. Um abraço para a Jaque. Jaque, estou com você. Perdeu seu pai. Te amo. Valeu, galera. Thank you, Canada! I want to send a hug to Brazil, to Rio de Janeiro, to the city of God, to my son who was a soccer uh, champion today, and to Jacques who lost his father. I love you. Thank you, Tiago, for a fantastic... Tiago Santos, ladies and gentlemen. That post-fight interview was brought to you by EA Sports UFC 3, available now for up to 70% off. Buy it today on Xbox One and receive a copy of Fight Night Champion to play through Xbox One backwards compatibility, available for a limited time. Paul Felder, I wouldn't mind seeing some highlights of that one again. How about Let's you? see it again. Madness. These guys were swinging. Props to both these guys, and congratulations to Santos. He landed a clean left hook, put Manawa down, but let's give it up for Manawa, too. This guy came out. These guys were warriors tonight. That's what this sport's all about, in my opinion. They went in there looking for the finish, looking to put on a show. I respect both of these guys for what they did tonight. They threw caution to the wind and they threw bombs at your moms. That was one of the craziest two-round fights you're ever going to see in a light heavyweight division, folks, and I loved it. And the 10th UFC knockout for one Tiago.